Hello guys, and welcome to the Burrito Slayer podcast. I'm your host, Burrito. I play Raid Shadow Legends, and I love my wife. And today we're going to be discussing, are progressive chances worth it? So these are different progressive chance champions that he's going to be discussing or asking about. Now, currently, upcoming, we have uh, Harima, Lady Kimi, Ragash, Rodos, Yumiko, Warlord on Tuesday, September 10th that they're going to have a progressive chance for starting out at 15% or 15 times and then it goes up to I think 25 times it's been a while since I've participated in one of these personally and then on Wednesday September 11th there's going to be another progressive for Razavarg, Beck, Underpriest, Brogni, Podrig, Iron Gut, and Cardio. Obviously these are really tantalizing and valuable champions personally Rodos is like the biggest thing that I'm looking for because I've been looking to plus four my Rodos. But circling back to the question of whether or not these events are worth it, I thought I would first give my thoughts on progressive chances and then we can read what other people are saying. Before we dive into whether or not these events are worth it, keep in mind a few other things prior to that. One, we're in the middle of a fusion. There are other events that are going to be coming. For an example, Thor. If you're going for the Thor fusion, I would probably hold off on milking your uh, shards out. There's also the Freya guaranteed deck of fate event that's still coming up. And then we also have the Thor five star soul event. That's probably not 100% confirmed, but like 98% sure that the Thor five star blessing event is going to happen. The, the, the soul chase, right? With that out of the way, whenever I'm looking at progressive chance events, I have to remember that for the most part, the rates for dropping are not going to be boosted. For Ancients and Voids, it's 200 summons without a Legendary, and then after 200, you get a 5% boost to your next following um, shards incrementally until you eventually get a Legendary. It's not often that you go this far without a Legendary, but it's happened. And it's the same thing for Primals, which is absolutely crazy you can you can summon 200 myth primal shards you can you can summon 200 reds and not get a single mythical but then it goes up by 10 percent after that but still that's insane sacred shards 12 summons and then you can start getting a boost chance for legendaries i have had multiple instances where I've gone over 12, even 15, 16, 17 without summoning a legendary, even on a 2x. This just happened on my last summoning video. I'm going to read this here because I've never read this before. Your mercy counters are tracked individually for each type of shard, meaning if you summon a legendary champion from a sacred shard, it won't affect your mercy counter for voids or primals or ancient shards. After you successfully summon either an epic legendary or mythical, your mercy counter will reset for that rarity from that type of shard chances are going to reset to those displayed in the default summoning chances table. For the most part, you're around 80 to 90 percent going to summon a rare. Most of the time, even with blue, uh, even with reds, you have a good chance of summoning mythical rares. The chances are a little bit higher for epics. Ancients and voids, you have a 0.5 percent of summoning a legendary with a primal chance giving you a 1 percent. Best chances to summon a legendary are going to be from your sacred shards. Mythicals are only 0.5%. Do I care about any of the champions there? Are there any champions that I'm going to be gunning for? Am I close to mercy? As somebody who is a relatively low spender, you're probably not going to want to blow your shards out for every, unless you have like a crap ton, right? I think the biggest summoning event I did was a 2x 10x for Harima. So I think that's what it was. I pulled almost 600 shards and I did not get Harima. You know, take that into perspective. I honestly think these events are for whales because the people who are going to pull for these champions are people who are willing to spend, who don't care about a mercy system because they're going to be paying and pulling shards until they get their targeted champion. In the grand scheme of things, if you just have a crap ton of money and shards to blow and you're looking for that specific champion, yes, I think this is good. If you're close to mercy, you're not going for any other events currently, then yes, I think it's definitely okay to be pulling for this, but also keep in mind and keep it in consideration and take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, it's not going to be a 2x. Your chances of summoning these legendary champions are not going to be boosted. You're going to have your regular 0.5%, 1%, whatever it is, depending on the shard, chance to summon a legendary champion. For most of the player base, I'm going to say like 90, 95% of players, this is not going to be worth it. 
right? And that's the too long didn't watch that I'll put in the comment down below. This is for mostly whales. But I want to see what other people are saying. And I'm curious to hear what you're thinking right now if you're listening to me. Carl the Well Endowed <laughs> says, depends. Are you close to, are you close to mercy? If so, 15x is your best chance to get these specific champions. But then again, I, I don't know who it was, but I think it was Hell Hades. Somebody, some bigger content creator did a video and they, I think they were able to data mine things. But I think they said something along the lines of like for blues, you would have to still pull, or was it 2000? I don't know. You have to pull a crap ton of shards or was it a 10x? I don't know. Somebody correct me there. I could be wrong, but I know somebody pulled thousands of shards and it was a long time before they even got the targeted champion. I think it was a Kaimar, but I, I don't honestly remember. Uh, he says, in general, I would say no. Although I pulled a couple sacred shards for Duchess as I knew it would not impact my ability to do the next fusion. That's another thing, right? If you're if you're somebody who stacks shards and you just have shards to blow like 50 sacreds because with 50 sacreds you're still in shooting distance of a guaranteed event which is generally around 20 sacreds right so even if you pull 25 you have a good chance to get at least two legendary champions relatively higher chance of getting those specific champions that you put in those slots fusions are guaranteed times 15s etc are not so be wise you can't check your mercy you just have to track them this guy says no these progressive chants are never worth it. Exciting Amphibian says the progressive events are really only good in two cases. One, if you track your mercy system and know that you are close, even in this situation, you're going for maybe one chance at getting the champion and you might be getting more value by holding on for a one plus one event instead. This is totally plausible. I understand where he's coming from and yeah, he's right. Two, you are hell bent on pulling a champion, a specific champion, and will devote all your resources to, to doing that specific one. We saw this play out a few days ago with streamers trying to get the last epic for the Lady M fusions. Nubs got it right away with one shard. Eobard pulled 30. That's crazy. These are not guaranteed events and mostly cater to those who have crazy amounts of shards or money or, you know, the willingness to put it on their credit, etc. To go all in with. I've pulled in these events before, got my desired champ in the first few pulls. I've also had some veils. I think the only ones that are worth it are void epics to, due to the very small champion pull and usable pull rates. Even then, it still takes a lot of shards with a high chance of failure at the end of the day, so should probably be reserved for game-changing epics like enabling first UNM teams and etc. That's another good point, right? The summoning pool, the, 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 the champions that are available to be pulled from blues, your yellows, and your reds are a lot wider than your voids, right? There's less there's less void champions than there are all others. So more than likely, you're going to get a worth it void, epic, or legendary champion. And then the other thing is, um, you know, ascertain where you are. Look at your account. Where are you? What do you need? Do you need any of these champions here? Ask yourself, what is Harima going to do for you? Everything, basically. What is Lady Kimmy going to do for you? Probably good for some, some comps here and there, but nothing too serious, I think. I think she's definitely A plus, S minus tier. Um, not like the greatest, but she's definitely fast. She's great in PvP. Um, I know a lot of people use her in the Dark Fae. Ragash, great PvP champion, PvE, if you're looking for a semi awesome nuker i think he's a he's a good nuker not not a you know particularly outstanding one he's got a good stun decreased defense as well rotos is freaking awesome he's my favorite champion right rotos is my favorite champion um i'm somebody who's hell-bent on getting more rotos is rotos also is yumiko awesome champion warlord awesome champion i have both of those already so not too important um me personally if i had the shards i'd be gunning for rotos I'm actually close to Mercy. I might even pull a few shards for Rotos just because I'm not too worried about missing out on the Thor fusion or the Thor soul because I know I'm going to get it. And, um, you know, you just look at where your account is. Look at what you need. Like, do you need a Beck? A Beck is good for soloing some of the normal dungeons. Grand Oak Podrick is huge for all content. Drazer Iron Gut, awesome for, you know, Hydra and other PvE content. Cardiel, great for PvP, PvE. So, you really have to just kind of look at your account as a single entity and then decide from there. This guy says to only pull when you're close to mercy. This guy says, do you understand how progressive events work or do you expect to pull multiple Legos with those voids? Not expecting to pull multiple, just wondering if that 25x is worth doing all the shards to pull for one champ. So when you start out pulling during a 15 to 25x, you start out with a 15% chance to, let's say 
you're pulling for Ragash, you really want him for some reason, you're close to Mercy and you pull a Legendary, right? If you don't get Ragash, then your chances will increase to, I think it's 20 times, right? But off the rip, you're going to have a 15 times chance to pull Ragash over other champions. Now, that might sound like a lot, but it's not that much, all right? It's still better than nothing, but, you know, just keep keep your expectations low is probably, like, the best advice I could give you. But you still need to pull that type of rarity. So, after pulling one legendary, it could be anything, as long as it's not Ragash, this will bump up from 15 to 20 times, so on and so forth, until you hit 25x. And then after you hit 20, 25x, that's after pulling three legendaries or three... Um, yeah, three legendaries of that, you know, same rarity, then it keeps bumping up, but it stops at 25. At 25, you can keep pulling shards, and remember, the rates are still not increased. You're still pulling like 200 blues, for an example, to get uh, a legendary champion, but if you do summon a legendary champion with a 25x, then you have a fourth chance higher, percentage chance higher, of getting a specific champion you're gunning for. So that is how that works. You still have to pull that rarity. This guy says, depends on the account. It's never been worth it for me. In all my five plus years, I've never hit a 10, 15, 25, 20X event. I will never pull for the 10X or progressive. Got completely burned on the Archer event. Never got her. Same here, bro. If you are on the fence, I'm gonna say no. I don't need Freya or Thor, but I really need Armands. So I pulled my 20 sacreds. So he went for 20 sacreds for Armands. He did not get a single legendary. Don't even bother outside of a 2x. The best events to summon for are generally accepted to be 2x events, guaranteeds, and 1 plus 1s. It's not a complete scam, but you have to remember that this is a very heavy RNG based game. You also need to realize that over the years, how inflated the pools have become. If it's Ancients and Sacreds, I will say that the odds are very much against you. For Voids, it's very good for the Epics. I can at least confirm that, but for the Legendaries, not quite as much. 